Hi everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs and today I have a print and cut tip for you. So I have been noticing across all cutting machines, Silhouette, Caesar, even Cricut, a difference in people having issues with the accuracy of their print and cut. Now this is not covering the actual cut accuracy of the print and cut. This is actually in reference to the printout is not accurate. And the reason behind that is borderless printing. So I have an example here of the design that I show on my Leonardo Design Studio software. I printed this and I'm gonna show you those print settings here in just a second, but I wanna show you how this identifies and how I saw this and troubleshot this. So here is a photo of two printouts. So I have on the bottom, on top of my light box, I have the borderless print option. And then on top of it, I have stacked a normal print job. As you can see in this photo, if you have the borderless option turned on in your print settings, that affects the size of your actual printout. You can see that the registration marks are in different locations and the size of the actual print of these circles is in different locations. That can definitely affect your print and cut results. Your print and cut page has to match exactly what you see on the screen. So for instance, the, the what I see on my Leonardo Design Studio screen here and what shows on the borderless option is not the same. They are not going to line up. They are not going to work properly. It, and now maybe somebody will have an accurate print and cut, but in the terms of normal function, it's not going to give you an accurate cut because as you can see, the sizes are different. Now, I want to show you where you can change this option for the Leonardo Design Studio software. And I want to first say that all printers are different. So my printer menus may not look the same. And I am on Windows 11, which also looks a little bit different. Um, so you will need to look into your printer settings. And the other thing, the second thing I want to say is test this yourself. It's very simple to test it yourself. I'll show you how to change the settings and then you can print out a page with just regular copy paper and you can use any image that's a print and cut image. In this case, I just drew circles and turned them into a print and cut image, but you can use that as your example and see for yourself, for your printer, how the difference compares. Then you just stack the two pages and hold them up to the light. I used a light box, but you don't necessarily have to do that. But for the photograph, I needed that. So I'm going to click on the send tab in the top right. And it's a print and cut. I'm just going to click send. And then I have my printed artwork at the top and I have my cutting artwork at the bottom. I'm just simply going to use the printed artwork for the example. So I'm going to click the send to printer with my printer turned on. This is the weird Windows 11 menu. It didn't used to look like this, but in this case, it still pops up, it brings it up. So I just click on more settings and then it brings up my normal print menus. So here I have the option for borderless printing. And if I check that, it's going to change the size of the actual printout because it's going to expand the, not just the registration marks, but it actually changes the size of the image that is printed as well. The other thing, if you don't, not all printers have borderless print options, but if you're still noticing that there is a difference in the actual size of your printout compared to if you were to just normally cut it, you can come up to look in your printer menu. And if I choose page setup, I have other options such as fit to page and scaled. If your page is being scaled or changed in any way, that can affect your print and cut accuracy because it's a different size than the actual image on your screen or the actual, what, what they have to match. Whatever you have set up on your Leonardo Design Studio software has to match your actual printout. If it's being scaled down or up, that is definitely gonna affect your print and cut accuracy. 
It is not a machine issue. It is not a Leonardo Design Studio issue. It is not a Caesar Juliet or Romeo issue. It's not a problem that it's cutting inaccurately. It's actually a printer setting. So when you're doing print and cut, there are several factors in it from your software, your computer, your connections, your wireless connections to the Caesar uh, wireless connections. I want to clarify that wireless connection to your printer, wireless connection if you're using that for Caesar, Juliet, or Romeo, things can interfere, and then it's the actual machine cutting. So in this case, it has nothing to do specifically with the Caesar software or the Caesar cutting machine. And again, I want to say that it's not just in relation to Caesar. I'm seeing this across the board with all things, and it because it's a printer setting, not just a cutting machine issue. So here's where you would want to look. You want to look in your printer preferences areas. Now, mine is not going to look the same as yours. I can probably 100% guarantee that unless you're using the exact same setup I am with Windows 11 and my Canon printer. All printer models vary in your print menu setup, and it's going to look a little bit different from Windows users to Mac users as well. It also looks different from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And one of these days, I'm going to figure out that random print menu. But these are the areas you want to look into. Look into it, and I would highly recommend you do a test print. It takes a few seconds to set it up as a borderless print and then send it as a normal print. And you can just hold those two pieces of paper together up to a light and check for yourself and look for those differences. It's really a good way for you to visually see that more than just seeing my photos on the screen. So I hope those tips have helped. I wish you the best of success with your print and cut jobs with the Caesar Leonardo Design Studio software. Check out the links in the description below and also the Swift Creek Customs YouTube channel for more videos on print and cut and how to set that up. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day.